ETH, we start with one hour chart. We wanna see how we can look for trade or analyze the chart. First of all, uh, if you refer to our analysis in my last video, since the price was within this move, we mentioned about the how we can look for trade. Anyway, after that, there was no update. And if you refer to my last analysis, I mentioned about the possibility price to break the previous low because I mentioned if the price break, mostly we can look for divergence. Then from there, any reversal, we can look for buy because if we put this low relative to the previous one, as what we were predicting, we see we have a we had a divergence. Okay, that's why we mentioned, even if we refer to our analysis, we mentioned we're looking for the reversal. Either this one tend to a correction relative to this or price to break the previous low. Because we mentioned with the breakout of the previous low, it can give us better confirmation to look for reversal. And this is what we get. Okay, there was an opportunity to look for buying either from this correction or from here. And whoever get the trade right now, they should move their stop loss to break even or book some profit. Because if you look at this one, as internal flat and if you put this this top in relative to the previous one we see we have a divergence okay this divergence is not going to give us a reversal mostly we can expect the price to correct here the only things right now we're looking for we want to see the breakout of the previous top which is around 2630 okay now we want to see whether the price can break the previous top or not and whoever get the trade from here they can book some profit, move their stop loss to somewhere below this correction. And whoever get the trade from here, if can move their stop loss to break even. Okay, now we want to see whether the price can break the previous stop or not. Okay. And if I move to higher time frame, we want to see what we have been looking for. Again, if you refer to our analysis, we have been looking for the flat and we want to see the reversal. This is what we're looking for. We want to see the price can retest the previous stop or not. Okay, this is what we discussed. We have been discussing since last week and this is the flood we have been looking for. All right, now we adjust it. And the only thing is because if you refer to what analysis, I mentioned we can put this move in relative to this for the bigger flat. Okay, that's why I mentioned we can expect the price drop and break the previous low. Then any reversal from there, we can look for buy. All right, and how about based on forward chart, if we put this low in relative to the previous one, we see we had a divergence. And based on MACD, we didn't have it. We had the two different results, but based on forward chart, we couldn't rely on the divergence because both of the indicator doesn't show us same result. But based on one hour chart, since we have been trading based on one hour chart, we had the divergence, okay? Anyway, the reasons for to look for the reversal, not, it was not only the divergence. We using the divergence to help us. Okay, but technically we have been looking for this flat. And from there, we have been, had, we had the internal flat at the first correction and the last move, we could confirm this is the only, I mean, this is the, after the price drop, we could confirm this is the move for the, as a three, a third way for this correction. That's why based on one hour chart, we, have been looking for the divergence but based on forward chart we didn't have but for sure if the forward chart give us divergence both of the indicators give i mean if it give us same information it could give us better confirmation for the price to retest the previous stuff okay and still we're looking for continuation what i wanted right now wants to see the breakout of the this stuff okay can we expect this one turn to a deeper move yes that's why we need to see the breakout of the previous stop, which is this one. That's why whoever get the trade from this move, they need to start to manage at least book some profit or move their stop loss to break even. Right now, we don't have any trade setup. The only way, that's mean if we get any trade setup for buy, we will take it. But if we want to look for trade, the best thing is we wait for this one turn to a DP correction. Okay, how about if the price, this is the only correction and the price sharply continue from here. The only way is to put our entry above this, which is around 22630. Okay, rather than that, we don't have any other option. All right, that's why the best thing is we wait for the correction to look for the next trade. But how about if the price continue from here as a sharp move? The only way is to put our entry above this. But we should know that first things, there is a possibility because internally we have a flat. We can consider this one as the first move. We can expect to get the deeper correction before we get the continuation. 
this is what we can expect. And if we get, it can give us really good confirmation for continuation. But how about if this is the only flag? The only ways to put our entry above this. What I want to highlight here, we should know that if we having entry above the top, what we want, we want the price sharply break and continue with the price tag. We see it's not moving within the first or maximum second hours we take out the trade. We are not going to keep more than two hours. Okay, and having a trip of this is optional. It depends on the traders. If they know how to manage, if the price didn't move in our direction, at least they know how to manage it. If not, just let it go. And we wait for correction. Okay, that's mean if we, anyone what doesn't want to have a trip of the top, we wait for the correction. If we get a correction from there, we look for the next trade. I mean, the bigger correction. If the price continue from here, after the breakout of this next opportunity also we can look for trade anyway the only update is whoever get the trade from this move they start to manage either book some profit or move their stop loss to break even and right now we're looking at this we want to see whether we can get the correction for continuation or as we have a divergence we can call this one as the first wave and look for the deeper correction in this case we just follow the chart if i see any update i will share thanks